All right, well, my mom did a great job uh, on the first video, but you couldn't really hear it. So I'm gonna give you guys an update. This is day, uh, what day is it? Today's Monday, isn't it? Tuesday, Tuesday, today's Tuesday. Um, I started my first dosage of arsenic in a little baggie there. Arsenic trioxide. Um, it's scary. It's scary at first. You know, they tell you arsenic. It's it's going in your body. It's a poison. Yeah, it, it's a scary thing. And you know, even being twenty four years old, it's it's hard to wrap your mind around that. You just gotta accept that this is how it's gotta be. You know, I've always been somebody who doesn't like taking medicine who doesn't like going to the hospital unless it's absolutely necessary you know your body heals itself your body takes care of itself and sometimes you're in a position where it just you can't help it it just it does something wrong and i was not genetically disposed to having this condition i was not doing anything that could cause this to happen it just it happens sometimes you very you have a very complicated system that works with each other inside your body and sometimes things happen so being told that while i'm here it, i just have to take these certain medications and i have to i have to do these certain things it's hard for me to wrap my head around and again i think about how hard it is for people who are younger and don't understand what's going on and have to deal with actual chemo they lose their hair and they're just sick all the time and they can't move it's tough you know, that's a strength for me to realize that there are people who go through that just and don't have as much as a support system. I have an amazing family, friends, people from work. They've all been here to talk to me about how much they have my back. And I believe them. They all do. All of them. But not everybody has that. Not everybody has a job that pays for all this. Not everybody has a position that will be held for them while they're going through their their ordeal not everybody has the opportunities to be able to just not even not only survive this but still have a life afterwards it's it's expensive it it is life altering in many aspects so it is a, it is a one day at a time battle and that's way after you finally if you beat this into remission and it is cured it's still a lifetime battle you're going to have to deal with anxiety every time you get sick about whether or not you whether or not it just it comes back or if if this time the flu is something more than the flu it will affect the rest of your life so constantly i think about everybody else who wasn't or is not in an opportune place to be able to take care of this and i'm thankful more so than anything else that I have that support from family, friends, uh, the staff here at the hospital, this UK Marquee Center. You can't, you can't beat it. And out of all the things that could happen, you know, this is a lottery winning chance to be diagnosed with a certain cancer and to be able to treat it and cure it. But I'm here for all those who are scared i'm here for all those who just don't know what's next so i'll keep you in touch